Hello YouTubers, my name is Virality and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a database and a table in phpMyAdmin. Let's begin. This tutorial will be showing you how to use phpMyAdmin with your LightSail LAMP server. If you haven't set up a LightSail LAMP server, I would strongly recommend you watching my other videos. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to type putty in our Windows search bar. We're going to open up our putty. And as you'll see, we have our static IP connection that we made in one of my other videos. You can find the video in the top right corner right now. We're going to hit open. And as you can see, it will have our SSH client appear right here. Once we have the SSH client up, we're going to go to our browser. We're going to come up to the search bar and we're going to type in our local host. To do that, it's 127.0.0.1. We use port 8888 and then we do slash php my admin slash. And we click that and you should see this page right here. We're going to type in the password. Now the password is going to be that file that we saved in one of our other videos. I have it under YouTube series. It's going to be blurred out here so you can't see my password. I'm going to copy and the paste and I'm going to hit go. And you should come up with this page here. Now to create a new database in phpMyAdmin you're going to go to new and you're going to create a database. So we can just do test. As you can see, I already have test there. So I'm going to actually do test two. And typically you do lowercase and we're going to hit create. Now that we have a new database, we need to create some tables and this table I'm just going to put the columns to two. We're just going to do first name and last name. And so we can do for the table name person. And this one, I believe, does get a capital. From here, we're going to do first name. So I'm going to do F underscore name for first name. And for here, we're going to do last name, which will be L underscore name. We're going to change these ones to varchar for the type. This just means it will accept characters. For length, we're going to uh, maximize that to 25 for each. This helps sto uh, stop SQL injection, um, but it doesn't completely stop it. It's just one of those additional things we can do. I think that's everything for that. And we're just going to hit save. Okay, so now you can see in test two, we have table person. If we want to make a data entry, we can go to insert and we can type in a name. So I'll do Freddy and I'll just type last name and we can hit go. You'll see it says one row inserted. The beauty of phpMyAdmin is it also shows us the SQL code. If we go back up to structure, you'll see that nothing has changed. But if we go to browse, you'll see that we have a data entry, Freddy last name. There you have it. In this video, I've shown you how to access phpMyAdmin, how to create a database, how to create a table and how to insert data. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time, I have been Virality. Keep on coding.